all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you good morning uh, people in asia and good evening people in usa and uh, soon people in europe they will wake up um actually this video is just uh, you know just to have a little conversation with you and just to inform you i just made two new videos which is not listed in my arabian prophet account they are listed in minds.com so the link is down in the info and actually this video is to answer the muslims claim about what it's called video is made by them called 16 or 9 9 facts about the quran nine facts about the quran so uh, if you click at the info of this video you will find the link for my minds that come and don't forget please to subscribe now in minds you can download the videos easy click at the video to play and when the video start playing click in the right side of your mouse and choose save save and the video will be downloaded to your computer and then you can load it anywhere you want in youtube all right so the link again is down in the info you will see it in the info of this video and here we get them busted again as usual actually i will make more videos by the end of the night i hope i will be able to make it it's getting late but maybe i can make two or three more videos to refute them uh, we notice always uh, good morning indonesia good morning uh, we notice always that they always try to promote their cult by not by decency and that is really understood because if islam is a decent belief then the followers they will promote their belief with decency you know what i mean no my earlier video is there I just I told you when I finish the video we will put it out for some time so people will watch the previous video so if you click now it's, it's there if not I will check it out uh, it's very important it's very important salamat salamat uh, I thought you are a Filipino child of God because Filipino they say salamat too. <laughs> All right. Uh, always ask yourself if those they believe in true God and Islam is a true religion, then why they need to lie about their belief? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Why needs why somebody need to lie about his religion? Like if you ask me about Jesus, why I need to lie about Jesus to make you to believe in Jesus? Because if I do that, you do not believe in Jesus, you believe in the lie. You know what I mean? If I make you believe in Jesus based on me lying, I did not make you believe in Jesus, the true Jesus. I made you believe in a lie. So why Muslims they do that? Because Islam is a lie. Otherwise, they will not do such a behavior it's a shameful behavior this is why you know uh, we make our videos to refute them but we need your help to promote you see if you go to this muslim website the one the one who made this video they have 2.3 million subscriber you see muslims they right away when you see somebody uh, defending Islam or promoting Islam right away they subscribe they don't even they don't they don't need to tell them subscribe right away immediately they do we, Christians know I mean you have to hold his hand and move it and say hey can you subscribe can you give it a like once a Muslim he said to me well we Muslims have faith but we don't have religion your christians have religion but you don't have faith i did not understand what he was saying what he meant but later i understood what this guy is saying he was saying that we muslims we have garbage we don't have a god but we have faith you know we believe blindly you have the true thing but you don't have faith you don't work for it
so you have Jesus but yet you want Jesus to do everything for you he die for you he save you he do it that's it he do it I mean we do nothing we not we do not need to do anything this is not Christianity Christianity all of it is about working and doing work do you remember the the parable in the Bible where it says that there's a three a th a servant and e each one of them God he gave him you know some money to invest but it's not about money one of them he save it the other one he double it that the one he make it three times so who is the one who is who is the the good one for God the one who double it the one who make it t twice or three time not the one who save it for himself so if you are a Christian you like just to hear and listen and laugh and you don't want to do any work you are no Christian my friend sorry to say to you all right uh, <clears throat> Mahdi who is Mahdi where is Mr. Mahdi where are you Mr. Mahdi you want to talk to me Mr. Mahdi I don't see anyone Anyone see Mahdi? I don't know. Where is Mahdi? Who is Mahdi? Is he invisible or Imam Mahdi? What Imam Mahdi? Is your name? Hmm. Your Lord God is one. I thank you very much. And this is a proof that you Muslims you lie when we say when you say that the Christians believe in three gods you see guys Mahdi he refuted the Muslim lies the Muslim lies about us they keep saying that you Christians believe in three gods but as you see our Bible and mr. Mahdi he is quoting from the Bible and by the way never take a Muslim translation he posts because sometimes they play with it but we will show you what he said he said that the Bible says in mark 12 29 the most important one that we're talking about the command or the belief answer Jesus is here O Israel the Lord our God is one your God is one okay so why you Muslims you lie about Christianity and you say we Christians believe in three gods mr. Mahdi and why your God Allah do not understand what Jesus said because your God Allah he claim he claim something different And by the way, the one there is Echad. Echad is not about one as a number, one about unity. And Muhammad, he stole exactly the same phrase from Jesus. He said, which is from the Old Testament too, he said, Qul Allahu Ahad. Say that your God, Allah, is Echad. But Echad is not one. Ahad in Arabic is one of. Muhammad, he chose the wrong word. If you want to say one, you don't say Ahad. <clears throat> so Mahdi, are you there? Do you like to give me a call, Mr. Mahdi? Do you have the courage and the knowledge? Sri Lanka group call themselves Tawheed. Yeah, they are Muslims. I mean, what do you expect? I don't blame terrorists for being terrorists. I mean, obviously, the government in Sri Lanka are a bunch of idiots. They are not doing their job. So, Mahdi, do you have the courage to speak to me live? Do you like to call me? Or you just copy-paste? Do you like to copy-paste or you like to talk? Same time, Jesus says, the one who saw me, he saw your God. Correct, guys? Did Jesus, I mean, why you copy only one verse? Is that the verse only you like? Why you don't copy what Jesus said? Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. You, you explain it to me, you are a Muslim. How if we see Jesus, we saw the Father? Are you there, Mr. Mahdi? Or you are just a person who copy a verse and you like, this is the only verse you like. And Jesus telling them what he told them from the beginning, that your God is one. This is what the Bible teaches, God is one. From the first verse to the last verse, God is one. And this is what we Christians believe. We are the one who believe in the oneness of God, not you. You don't have God, 
you are people who just repeat but you have no understanding of what what one mean what one Allah is one what they don't know they don't even dare to speak to me You know the Trinity is not about three gods. We don't believe in three gods. Never. This is never exist in Christianity. Uh, the Trinity simply is believing in one God. If you say to me that this is impossible, that means God cannot be God too, because uh, God is Almighty. The, the reason we call Him Almighty because nothing is impossible with God. Correct, guys. Why we call God Almighty? So what the Muslims they want, they want to design God as they wish. And by the way, they are not rejecting the Trinity because the Trinity is wrong, just because Muhammad he said no. I, I will give you an example. Why have you ever seen a Muslim making fun of Mary giving birth to Jesus as virgin? Never, right? Did you see anyone making fun of Mary giving birth to Jesus as virgin? Never. Why? Is that because it does make sense? Your boyfriend will call me soon. Why he wanna call you? Say, call me soon. Isn't he Christian? They don't make fun of Mary giving birth to Jesus as virgin because the Quran says that she was virgin. But if the Quran never say that, they will be laughing at you. They say, ha 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 ha, uh, Mary gave birth. Ha ha ha. This is stupid, right? As simple as that. They are not debating us because they accept they don't accept just because Muhammad he said that they are following blindly what Muhammad he said if Muhammad said that Jesus is God they will accept nobody even would discuss this is the truth so who was a Muslim have the courage to call us hmm same time, your God is God, but you do not even know what Allah means. What? Who is Allah? Here we go. Ask, ask this guy, Mahdi. Who is Allah? He do not know. He start telling you he's the creator. Okay, wait, 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 what creator? Even the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. There's many creators. Even Jesus and the Quran is a creator. I'm asking you who is Allah. Do you know? You do not know. What Allah mean? Mahdi, can you tell the people what Allah mean? You don't know. I mean, have you ever heard of a cult? They don't even know what the name of their God mean. They don't know. They have a lack of intellect. They have lack of knowledge. They are copy paste. Uh, uh, there is there is a Muslim. He posted just yesterday in the in the text. He said. The funny Christians, they say, God, Jesus is God, but Jesus died. God died? And look how funny they are. Okay, so if Jesus died, that's when make him not God. That means Jesus in Islam is, must be God because he did not die. If we ask the Abduls right now, those who they are in text, hmm? okay, why Jesus is did not die? Any Muslim can tell us he is just a human being like everybody, but now he is alive for 2,000 years and he is in heaven. Not in vacation in Hawaii, he is in heaven. Why? Nobody discussed, nobody dared to ask why. Why? Just because Muhammad he said so, so we have to accept. Not because this is logical. Correct? It's not because it's logical, it's just because whatever Muhammad he said, we accept. Okay, but why? Why Jesus, if he is not God, why he is in heaven? What he's doing in heaven? Why all mankind they are dead? You say Jesus not die, bring him, meet me now. I mean, you are being silly. Your God is dead, and let me let him come and meet me now. You are silly, Imam. You are not respectful person. For you see, the Muslims they claim that they respect Jesus, but they make fun of all of us of him. Look at the silly. Make him meet me now. Okay, he will meet you. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know, even your cult says that Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day. 
so get ready to stand in the front of the judge the Almighty God one day your sentence will be brought in front of Jesus and you will be sent to hellfire just get ready make fun of Jesus as much as you wish and look at you you call yourself Imam Mahdi Imam Mahdi according to Muslims is a guy his mother she gave birth to him from the side of her ass because he is Imam Mahdi and now he is taken by Allah and he took the true Quran with him and he will come back one day if we ask you where this story is coming from you will say to me Allah knows best can you show me the Mahdi in your Quran Abdul huh fairy tale uh, followers can you show me the Mahdi where is the Mahdi is coming from where is the Mahdi in the Quran where do you get this Mahdi from a woman she gave birth to him from the side of her ass hello her name is Nurgis how are you doing Nurgis nice to meet you Uh, give it not a single verse in the Bible, but many verses Jesus did not say he was God What's the problem if it is true God to be honest with his student? I am your God worship me. Well, you see this is the stupidity a Mahdi in the front of everybody if I show you right now Jesus saying that he is God and he is saying worship me Are you willing to accept Jesus as God and Savior? Or you are a potato just to make fun are you willing to call me life on air and I will make you read the verses in the front of everybody are you hello hello do you dare to call me live right now and either you are a coward you don't dare to challenge me i will show you where jesus says i am god and worship me from the bible do you dare if you are a brave man you will call me and you will keep the challenge standing but you are not you are a potato you are just a slave of allah deaf blind mute it's just a recording machine but what does that mean he do not know guys just to remind you I made two new videos but they are not listed in the Arabian Prophet account they are in my account in minds.com the link is there in the info refuting what it's called uh, nine facts about the Quran which is stupid lies and we get them busted I made two videos and I will make more maybe tomorrow or today after I finish here click in the video there in minds and then you can download it any Muslim here he have something good to say to us about his, his cult anyone any Muslim can provide us something good about the cult of Islam me myself I like to have some versions I like versions I always buy uh, virgin oil Islam is very attractive after we learn that Allah will give us versions have you ever heard of a God I mean I heard about a pimp I heard about Las Vegas about about prostitution in Thailand uh, but God he want to give us if you believe to Allah you know give you women naked women and they open their legs I mean who what kind of God this God is even the promise itself is satanic isn't it the promise of Islam itself it's satanic I mean this is cannot be God you are worried about Jesus worry about uh, what kind of God what would happen to your daughter Imam Mahdi in the heaven you said your Jesus is still alive bring him online Okay, and Maddie, it's time for you to go because you obviously are a stupid kid. Get lost. Uh, in other way, go to hell.
I don't know, I'm trying to, to discuss with you as a human being you are being silly bring me Jesus what about you bring me Allah I make fun of him every day and Allah never come can you bring me Allah brother what about you bring me Muhammad the dead Muhammad stupidity we try to reason with them but they are a bunch of kids Any Abdul? Anyone? Yeah, don't forget to download those videos I just made, guys, and I will load more videos soon. I'm just making more of them. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> By the way, I mean, the heaven of Allah is fantastic. If you look at it, I mean, it's really crazy. This God, obviously, is talking to a bunch of... Of Bedouin, they never. I mean, what kind of God he promised me a couch? What is that? God, you promised me a high couch. What if I am short? What What do you mean, uh, uh, God will give me a, a high couch? In the heaven of Allah, brother, you will not even get fat. You will keep eating, but you never get fat. I mean, have you ever heard of such a promise? Not only that, do you know that Allah will make your voice, your, sorry, your, your face uh, uh, very soft, spoiled, like a, like a, a fat, uh, uh, rich, uh, like those you see in the movie, like the guy is very fat and very rich, you know, because he eat a lot. Huh? This is your heaven. Try not to laugh. Uh, oppose building in our community. Okay, good for you. Any Muslim have an answer? What kind of God is God? This God, he promised me what? This God, he promised me I will eat a lot in heaven. He promised me that there is a running fountain in heaven. He promised me a lofty garden. He promised me a bed which is a high. He promised me a cups. He promised me a cushions. <laughs> cushions sit in raw. <laughs> what is that? A carpet? I will have a carpet in heaven. Are you serious? So this is heaven, isn't it? Huh? And look, he's talking about the heaven. Suddenly he talked about how the camel is created. Like, what the heck? What does this have to do with this? You were describing for us all those verses, the heaven. Suddenly, look how the camel is created. Like, what does this have to do with this? A clear proof that the one who created this Quran is a camel guy. Any Muslim? I cannot wait. Hey, Sahih Christian, are you there, my friend? Uh, Sahih Christian, do you want some cushions, my friend? When I go to the heaven of Allah, I will go to send you. Uh, uh, some questions <laughs> God God he promised us cushions <laughs> unbelievable I can't wait to go and get cushions Abdul you can get you know go to Walmart you can get a truck of cushions for less than two hundred dollars God he promised me cushions yeah because those are better when they sleep in the floor they have no, no, those are luxury for them 
So he promised them what they are missing cushions bed. They don't have a bed Because bed is only for the Persian and the Roman and those Bedouin they did sleep in the floor between the scorpion bite their ass What is that how this is can be heaven any Muslim Yeah, actually actually Allah he promised us a feather too. just wait hmm? Not only that Allah he do not know how to write the to write Arabic look at this Let's do alayhim bi musaytir I Wrote it this way when I was in school the teacher start laughing at me and calling me names He called me donkey stupid idiot blah 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 Actually, I, I wrote three words from the Quran. All of them, they are written wrong. And he started making fun of me, not only this word. I wrote Musaitr like this, with Saad, letter Saad here. You see this letter here? This is wrong. This is stupid. So the teacher, he starts saying, are you stupid? He, he hate me because always I get him busted. So finally, he found something wrong in my grammar and my pronunciation and my spinning. So he started saying... Look at this guy. He always is so he thinks he's so good blah 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 Even a donkey will write, not write it this way Even a kid at the age of six years old will not write it this way and I am sitting I'm listening and I'm smiling and then this guy after he called me all kind of names You can imagine he said look at him. He's not even moving his eyes as if he's nothing happening like he doesn't he's not even care He said do you want to say something? I said uh, sir. I don't know with my respect to you you are calling the one who wrote it this way donkey, uh, but I wrote it exactly as it is in the Quran. And guys, the second I said that, the second I said I wrote it as it is in the Quran, his face changed the color and he starts shaking. I, I said, uh, uh, um, <coughs> um, yeah, he, uh, he's right. Actually, this is the correct way. This is the correct way to write it. Absolutely. Absolutely. This is the true. This is the perfect way to write the word. He was calling me donkey, a mule, stupid, idiot. Even a kid will not write it this way. The second I said to him, this is how it is in the Quran. Suddenly it became the perfect way to write it. And then the ring, you see, it, it was our last, last class at the, at, the, at the school. And so we have to go home. Our student, so he closed the door because now he's scared. The kids will go home and they will tell their parents there is a guy and he is a Christian. He wrote the words as it is in the Quran, and our teacher told him that the one who write it in such a way he is a donkey. <laughs> so he closed the door. He will not let us go. We have to go. The the the, the bell ring and we will need to go. He closed the door. He said, "Sit down, sit down, sit down. Need I need to explain. I need to explain." And the poor guy start explaining and he is sweating and he says I was trying to see how many of you will notice that this is I want to explain like he was not really he don't mean that you know what a coward It is wrong anyone who speak Arabic he knew that this is wrong. There is no such a word in Arabic Do we have any Abdul? But anyway, we are going to get some uh, <clears throat> cushions. And the earth is going to be... I mean, look at this. I want to I wanna, I wanna go to heaven. All right? <laughs> what about we are going to wear a bracelet in heaven? Any any Muslim want to explain to us? In heaven, Allah will give us a bracelet, each one of us. Man, I will look finally like an Italian mafia. I will look like a Tony. Tony. Hey Bambino. Don't fight with this guy. Just shoot him, Tony. So Tony, he will go to heaven and Allah will give him a bracelet. But Tony, he have like a thousand bracelets already. 
Your God wanna give me a bracelet? Are you sure? And the bracelet is it from silver? By the way, in different verse it says gold. I mean, is it gold or silver? Total stupidity. Allah don't remember. One verse is gold, the other verse is silver. Is that true, Abdul? Or I'm lying? Hmm? If you go to different verse, let us go. Oh boy. Stupidity is sign of intelligence these days. So we are in the hub. Look at this. Guys, does it say bracelet of gold? Does it say that the bracelet is made of gold? Yes or no? I hope we will not lose electricity. We have a tornado warning. It says gold, right? Okay, in different verse it says what? Bracelet of silvers. Which one of them, uh, Abdul? Abdul. You see, he did not say bracelet of gold and silver. So we can accept both. One verse it says a bracelet of silver. The other verse says a bracelet of gold. Which one? Stupid. He don't remember what he promised. Right? <clears throat> Any Abdul? And you know, look at this God. He will give me a green garment. Suddenly I'm going to be living in heaven, which is all everybody there he work in hospital. I will be in a surgery room for eternity wearing a green silk garment. That's it. How boring. I will not change that set a green silk garment. Everybody wearing green. Everybody is in a green. Hey, we are Mr. Green. This is this is God. Couches, cushions, bracelet, cups. Cups, God, He promised me cups. Yeah, because the Arab they don't have cups. Cups made of crystal, you know, like you know, the, those Arab poor people. They, you know, they use whatever, and they can, you can get their hands on to drink with. This is God, and not to forget that Allah, He will provide us with the beautiful boys. God, he will do child abuse in heaven? The Muslim, they claim that those are little children who will save us or serve us. Okay, hold on. What kind of God, he will make children serve you? And they are white like pearls. Why they have to be so white? And why he described them like pearls? Are we going to be tempted? Are they going to have sex with them? Any Muslim? Be nice, Wayne. Being Edwin, be nice. Don't be rude. Any Muslim? Hello? Anyway, guys, if you like to come to my Christian heaven, if you uh, convert to my cushion heaven, I'm going to call it my cushion heaven because I, if you believe in me, I'm Prophet ZB. 
and uh, uh, brother, uh, if you believe in me, I will give you cushions. I will go right now to Walmart and I will buy you a very nice cushions. And I will make Zachary Naik put his signature on it. <laughs> so this guy who saw aside himself in in Sri Lanka killing our brothers and sisters, he wanna get cushions. You know, you got screwed. You became pieces. Let Allah help you. You will end in hell too, in the top of that. Any Abdul? And don't forget, in the heaven of Allah, you will have uh, the fountain of youth. Remember, guys? The fountain of youth. But the most funny here, actually, the verse here, uh, you see, because you are not reading in Arabic, here it says, uh, upon them will be green garment of fine silk. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. In Arabic, it says, in, on them, they will be clothes made from a, 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 a green garment and istabrak. It doesn't say silk. It doesn't say, like, uh, the, 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 the translation, they do not translate what istabrak is because istabrak is a name. It's like saying Gucci at the time of Muhammad. So imagine how funny. Stabrak is a kind of fabric made in Persia by the Persian. So what kind of God he promised them? A Persian fabric, which is very famous for the rich ones, like saying Gucci. I'm going to give you Nike shoes. Any Muslim can explain? You guys, don't forget to uh, our sister Annie, as I remember, she said before that she is going to have a surgery uh, today in the text. Don't forget, please, to pray for her so she will be safe and she will um, she will recover from her surgery after she have it. We will pray for you, Annie. Good luck, and may the Lord keep you safe. Any Abdul? Pharaoh did one verse a life and one verse. A, yeah, I mean, the, the, the whole Quran is a stupid book. What I can say, you see, it's going to be always interesting if we can, if we can get the Muslim, he have the courage. But as you see, they are coward. They will not call me. Right? No, the Muslim, they say you are lying because simply how they can answer that. Can you explain chapter 26, verse number 16? What What is the question about it? Shouldn't you give me the question? What do you mean? Just explain it. What is the question? No question, just explain it. Well, here there is a mistake in the verse. Anyone who speak Arabic, how many of you speak Arabic here? فَأَتَيَا فَرَعَوْنْ فَقُولَا إِنَّا رَسُولُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ We cannot say Rasulu for two. Two of them, both of them, they came to Pharaoh. So how both of them, and it says we are the, it says we are, in Arabic it's not like in English. In English you can say, that we are messengers, right? We are messengers. Actually, even in English, you can't say we are messenger. You have to say we are messengers because it's not one person, right? Look what in Arabic is here. It says, Inna Rasulu Rabbul Alameen. That is stupid because how they are two and yet they are saying they are a messenger of Allah. Are you getting my point? In the translation, it doesn't say that. They deceive you. Can you show us and teach us all Bible verse? Abdul Salam, why you want to learn about the Bible verse? I mean, isn't it the Quran deleted the Bible, brother? 
suddenly you don't want your Quran no more what about as long your name is Abu Salam how you answer this how Allah he says they are two angels but yet he says and sorry two two messengers but they are one how is that let us change the translator to show you the the madness stupidity and when both they came to the Pharaoh they say we are the messengers you see in English it says messengers but in Arabic it says messenger how they are two but they are messenger any Muslim can answer Anyone? Any Abdul? So this this book cannot be written by God. This is stupid. Another one is asking me a question about. Anyway, here just to make it uh, simple. Supposedly, Allah He sent fair sent to Pharaoh, Aaron. And Musa's as messengers, but here there is a stupid mistake additional to this. Anyone, anyone notice what the mistake? Anyone notice what the mistake additional to this? There is additional mistake. Who who noticed that? Let's see how many of you. Okay, don't the Muslim they say to us that Muhammad is the only messenger was sent to other nations? Don't they say that to us? And Musa was a messenger for the Jews, Isa was a messenger for the Jews, etc. Or how the Quran then says that Allah He sent them as messenger to Egyptian. Do you understand? This is stupid. They give us headache that only messenger of Allah Muhammad is the messenger for mankind. But look, Aaron and Musa, they are coming to Pharaoh and Allah told them, tell him, you are my messengers. Stupidity. Stupidity. Stupid is talking, what we can say. And they call him Allah. But the fact this is Muhammad making poop. There is no way God, he will say such a stupid thing. Any Muhammad in heaven have a comment? So the Quran approved that Muhammad not actually the Quran says uh, but by the way there is another contradiction here I don't know if any of you remember do you remember the verse where it says we never send a messenger except to his people in the tongue of his people okay is Aaron and Musa are Egyptian Chapter 14, verse number 4. Allah saying, we never, ever, never send a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people. Was Moses as an Aaron Egyptian? Any Abdul? This is stupid. 
so we never send a messenger unless he is from the people speaking the tongue of the people so Muhammad he cannot be a messenger for all mankind because in order to do to be he have to be from all mankind and he have to be a person speaking the language of all mankind Muhammad he cannot even write in his own language according to Muslims and the Quran make it clear why so they can understand in order to make it clear for them so there's no way Allah will send a book in a language you don't understand this is the verse saying do you see it so how the Quran is going to be a clear book for somebody from in, from uh, Bangladesh and he said to you but the top they're the person in the name of the Christian print and you will ask a question first of all Christian print I turned you to tell me your faith if you are a man enough tell me your faith and I am poor you are very ugly and you are not a, 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 a Christian print what does this have to do with the question? How a person from India he is going to understand the Quran when the when the God of Islam is saying you cannot understand it unless it's in your language. It's, it's not me who's saying that, it's the Quran saying that. Hello. Any Abdul? <clears throat> and you know the Muslim they sit in the front like uh, you know they, they bring a big hole and they put someone like Zakir Naik. He look you know I mean this guy he don't even know what he's talking about, and whatever he say like wow brother wow look how smart he is. I cannot forget when the women she asked him why in Islam you can search for it the video why in Islam there is no Muslim there is no woman she is a prophet he said the fit of the ask with him why in Islam there is no women see the prophet I can assure you and confirm to you for it that this is true in Islam there is no women see the prophet and that for a ludical number for what for a ludical number what the heck is that let it go be good if a woman to become a prophet, she have to read the congregation. And if you read the congregation, she have to do to do and we do, and she have to bend over. And if you bend over, that would disturb the men who they are buying behind her. What? 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 If a woman she became a prophet, she have to bend over. If she bend over, every Muslim Abdul will look at her ass and he will forget about Allah. This is what he's saying. And the Muslim like, wow, brother, wow, look at this amazing. So what do you mean amazing? The guy, he just said that you're Abdul. If you see an ass of a woman, you forget about Allah. And this is amazing for you. This is the reason why a woman, she cannot be a prophet because of her ass. May Allah ask you. This is your scholar. Actually, there is a hadith where a gay, uh, he was leading the prayer for the Abdul in the time of the Caliphate. So they came to the Caliphate and they said to him, uh, we have an Imam who is uh, tempting us with his ass. Do you believe it? Hmm? I went to Uthman ibn Affan, the caliphate after Muhammad, and they told him that there is a, a gay, he is leading the prayer. And they say to him, he is being a trial for us. What? He is a trial. He's a leader of trial. How? Because he's a gay. Okay, hold on, hold on. How a man, how a bunch of men, they are praying behind the gay. They are saying he is a trial and afflictions for them. Read it. Fitna, trial and affliction. Okay. How he can tempt you. He, what they are saying, he is tempting us. How you can be tempted by a gay unless you are a gay. 
Correct, guys? You will not be tempted by a man, no matter what he do, unless you, you yourself, you are a gay. So they are saying they are tempted by this man. Obviously, all of them, they are a bunch of gays, but they are trying to play like uh, uh, honorable people. A uh, Muhammadan saying, uh, Jesus did not marry. Was he a gay? Well, this is stupid of you. You see, if Jesus married, that will not, that mean he is just like everybody. But Jesus, because he's God, he did not get married. He did not have sex. Did your God Allah get married, Abdul? You will say no. Does that mean he's a gay? You see, I'm going to use your logic. Hello, Abdul. Did your God Allah get married, Abdul? If we go in the Quran, Allah He said to us, how He can have a son if Allah He don't give a girlfriend? Girlfriend? What the heck? I never heard of a God He speak about Himself in such a way. How can He? Have a son if he don't have a girlfriend. Are you there, Abu Salam? Abu Salam, where are you, Abu Salam? Abu Salam, are you sure you are the smart between all the believers in Allah? Huh? Are you there? Abu Zalam, did Allah get married? I'm using your logic. If he did not get married, he must be gay. You said to me that Jesus did not get married, so he maybe is a gay. This is what you said. I'm using your logic. Allah did not get married. Is he a gay? Hello? Hello? Do we have any Abdul? Have you ever heard of a God? He is saying, I don't have a wife. What is that? In different verse, Allah, he says, if we want to have a wife for sex, not a wife, you know, a woman for fun, I'm going to have it from ourselves. How you Muslim, you say Allah is one, and then he's going to have sex with himself. What ourselves mean? Now you see why Muslims, they go, they play, like he played dead now, he is not answering. If we replace Christian prince, and the one is talking why Allah need to be married Allah is the creator the same answer for Jesus you idiot he is the creator why he need to get married you see how silly you are however I can show you from the Quran that Allah he have a girlfriend do you want to challenge me hello let us go to the Quran brother let us go to the Quran read with me Unbelievable. <laughs> Chapter, brother, 21, verse number 17, he says, Had we intended to take our, a wife or a girlfriend, we surely take it from us. Hey, Abdul, who is us? Allah will have sex with the wife. She is from us. Who is us? You said, Allah is the creator and he will not have sex. Allah don't agree with you. Allah says if he want, he will choose them from us. That's mean this is it's possible. He have a date. She is waiting for, for him there. Hmm? How much stupidity can one take a day? Well, I am used to this, what I can do. The human being is very weird, I mean. You see, sometimes we say like a human being is really smart, right? We see the machines we created, we see the technology, it's really amazing what we have. Like now, the internet, like now, you know, we are. I'm talking to you and some people are in the end of this earth. Amazing. 
but in the same time a human being can be the most silly stupid creature do we agree And actually, one of the reasons for me, I cannot have a friends who fit to be with me because I sit between people, I find myself stranger. I'm just being honest with you. I sit with them, I cannot take it. Like, you know, people, they are silly and they talk about stupid stuff, uh, you know, so I, I, I don't really associate much with, with people. Too much stupidity out there. Danny Abdul. Any, all of us who are in the same boat, that will be a problem, sister. <laughs> Anyone remember what uh, what Al Khadr did to the boat? As long as Annie, she is speaking about the boat. Anyone remember? Al Khadr in chapter eighteen, he made a hole in the boat. I mean, have you ever heard of a wise guy like this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, uh, the, he and the and Musas, they are going in the boat. The guy, he started making a hole in the boat. Musa says to him, what are you doing, you idiot? You are making a hole in the boat. Al Khadr, he screamed at him. He says, I told you, you will not listen to me. I told you, don't ask me a question now. Uh, is that true, Muslims, or I'm lying? Who want to say I'm lying? Liar. Who want to say that to me? <clears throat> this is a story they took a boat Musa's and Al-Khadr and then Musa's he start making a hole <laughs> in the ship <laughs> Sorry, Al Khadr. And then Musa he said to him, Why you are doing that? Later he explained to him, he said, Because there is a pirate, he's from Somalia, he is coming, brother, uh, to uh, steal uh, the boat. So I made a hole in it. So when he come, he will see there is a hole, he will leave the ship and he will not take it. I mean, look how smart he is. But now he will be drowned. If you make a hole in the boat, the boat will be drowned. The, the pirate will not take it, but what the benefit? You will die anyway. <laughs> what a funny story. And by the way, if the hole is tiny and small, because obviously it's so small, why the pirate will not take the boat? Because obviously the boat did not uh, uh, drown. So it means nothing. It would do nothing. A, a pirate, uh, they can fix it. Obviously, it can be fixed. This is a story. Uh, Allah is telling us a story about the wise guy. Look how wise he is. Are you there, Abdul Salam? Yeah, hey, Abdul Salam, why you don't call me, Abdul Salam? You see, Abdul Salam, I challenge you. If you call me, whatever topic you choose, we will not change the topic. Is that, the, is that a good deal, guys? Let us see how brave is Abdul Salam. Abdul Salam saying why well, you are changing the topic. Okay, Abdul Salam, in the front of everybody, if you are man enough, you call me and you ask me a question. Whatever the question is, you will promise me you will not change the topic. Do you dare, Abdul Salam?
Hello? For sure he will not, because his mommy, she don't allow him to speak to adult, especially like Christian prince. I want to learn the Bible. Okay, we are teaching you the Bible. Isn't it? This is the Bible of Allah. Brother, we are teaching you the Bible. Are you ashamed of the Bible of Allah? And this is your Allah. This is his Bible. And what do you mean you want to learn the Bible? Hello? Why you don't show me the Bible of Allah? What is the Bible of Allah? Allah in the Quran, he said he sent the gospel to Isa. Can you give me the gospel of Isa Abdul? Where we can find, brother, because I want to teach you the gospel of Isa. I promise you. But where we can find the gospel of Isa, brother? Do you know, brother? Who is a Muslim can tell me what is the gospel of Isa? Hello? Any Muslim have an idea where is the gospel of Isa? The Injil of Isa? They don't know. So do you have it? I thought you have it. This is the gospel of Allah. Are you telling me you Muslims, you don't have the gospel of Isa? Abu Salam, I'm really, I'm really so upset. Are you saying, brother, that you don't have the gospel of Isa? Hey, brother, can you tell us what happened to the gospel of Isa? Are you saying to us that your God, Allah, the idiot Allah, he could not protect his gospel? So why he gave it to Isa? Do you think, brother, that Isa, he lost it or Allah, he make it lost? Was the gospel of Isa brother lost according to Allah well or against his will? Yes, I have my gospel. Where is your gospel? I have it. Now, where is yours? The Quran says that Allah, he gave a gospel to a guy. His name is Isa and he gave the Torah to a guy. His name is Musa. And now you Muslims, you claim that Allah is a stupid God. He could not protect his book. Did you say that? Hmm. Then Abdul. Well, I can show you. Here we go. You want to show you? Okay. Here we go. If I show you from my book, you will say I don't believe in your book anyway. Here we go. The Quran says that Muhammad he confirmed what is with us. I challenge you to say that Muhammad is a liar. Guys, does it say confirming what is with them? Does it say that? So why you Muslims you lie? You say the Bible is corrupt. He's confirming what is with us. Them, who is them? Us, Christians and Jews. You Muslims, you have no honesty. Your Quran saying that your prophet confirmed what was with us. This is in the year six hundred years after Jesus. You remember, guys, the guy who uh, his name is Mimi, who was debating the guy, his name is David. Mimi, he said to David, for 300 years, 300 years, there is no single Christian father he spoke of the Trinity. 300 years, 600 years after Jesus, the Quran confirmed what is with us. This is why they don't debate me. Yeah, and he said 4,000 years about the Jews, but 300 years for the Christians. They are lined up to debate David Wood. Nobody want to debate me. Here I have to beg like a homeless. Any Muslim want to call me? Answer me. Silence me. Talk to me. My name is Mimi.
and my nurse is the Ali Dahwa. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm a homeless. I keep saying any any Abdul, any Abdul. I go to sleep. I in the dream I say any Abdul. I'm afraid to go to a, like one day to do a surgery or something. The doctor they will hear what and what I am like when they give you the drugs. Thank God I never been in hospital. I mean I don't. I, I'm very healthy. Uh, thanks to God. Uh, If you do a surgery and they give you the drugs and then you will wake up But in this stage you start saying things you nobody knows what are you talking about? So what do you think Christian Prince will say any Abdul? Give me Abdul It is any Abdul <laughs> Or I will speak like Zachary Naik and they will say like what the heck happened to this guy? He went to the surgery. He was an Arab he came out of the surgery, he turned to Zakir Naik. Right? Brother Sitter, today I'm going to teach you something impossible. And today we are going to throw you an amazing miracle in the Quran. Brother Sitter, do you know in the Quran that it said that Allah he turned down iron? And scientists they discovered that iron was not exist in the earth. What a lie. Oh boy. Hey guys, don't forget, I made two new videos. They are listed in minds.com and the link is down in the info. Please don't forget to download them. I will make more refuting the lies about what it's called nine facts in the Quran. The only facts I know about the Quran that it is the most stupid book. Prove me wrong. Hmm? Yeah, don't forget to download it by the way if you click at the video when the video start playing you can click in the right side of your mouse in the top of the video in the video itself and then you will see options open and you can click at download for save save as <clears throat> so do we have any Abdul want to say anything No, when you give a like to my videos, you are not uh, doing anything to me. This is nothing about me. Don't think I'm making videos. You are, you are, you know, when you give me a like, you are not giving me a like. This is not for me, my friend. I'm not here serving myself. This has never been about me. You give me a like. You give the video more possibility to be appeared in the search engine for others. You share it more with your friends, that will make it. You add it to your playlist, you download the videos, you post it in Facebook. So you are not doing it for me. This is not for me. And I'm not doing this video for me. I'm sick of this cult. I wish one day I would go and sleep and never spoke about it again. But I'm doing it because somebody have to clean the garbage and I don't find anyone to replace me yet Do you have somebody to replace me? So I'm doing my my best work So one day we will have somebody is very well educated and he and not only one I, I hope like a thousands and millions they can stand up and expose this cult Otherwise, I'm not doing this for me why I will be deceived by Islam? No, I will not. I'm the last one to be fooled by this stupid cult. Gina, you can replace me. Okay, Gina. Guys, Gina will replace me. Okay, Gina. Why you don't open a channel? Let's see how good you are. I encourage you actually. I encourage anyone who would like, you know, if you can do help, you know, we support you. I would like to see. Christians you know I'm trying my best so I can share my knowledge you see I stay for hours and the purpose is not to talk the purpose is to share knowledge otherwise it's nothing but garbage and headache right 
You know, one day I saw a child, Christian child, uh, a Muslim, he said to him, you worship a man. This child, he said to him, I look at his profile, you know, he's like nine years old, ten years old. He said to him, you, wor you know, you, you, you worship your God, Allah is a leg. <laughs> I mean, I was happy to see a Christian child is able to answer a Muslim. Your God, Allah is a leg. So you don't worship, you don't accept Jesus the man, but you accept God as a leg. Your God is a shin. Right? Yeah, but this kid, if he did not learn, you know who is going to teach him? If his parents themselves they are ignorant about this cult. I have I have a neighbor once uh, you know I was in his truck we went to Home Depot and uh, we talk about like you know uh, he talk about Osama bin Laden and you know we mentioned well, this is uh, Islam and he said to me Osama bin Laden is a Muslim I mean imagine 10 years after 9-11 and this guy he do not know that Osama bin Laden and those who did 9-11 are Muslims welcome to America Welcome to America. Ten years after 9 11. Yeah. He's op open, uh, open a topic with him about how to make barbecue. Yeah, that's his favorite topic. Who did 9 11? He was shocked, like, what? They are Muslims? <laughs> uh, yeah I know about Rob you know I, I wish him a good luck you know uh, learning is a process and need a lot of time and maybe by time he will he will uh, he will do better and better and I encourage everybody to do what he can do you know Any Abdul? I feel sorry for this guy, Abu Salam. Let us let us ask Abu Salam a very easy question. Abu Salam, Abu Salam, brother. Uh, thank you, rethinking. Abu Salam, brother. I don't know the language you are talking. But can you speak to us in English, Abu Salam? Hey, brother, have you ever heard of a god? You don't remember which one he created first? the stars or the trees so I'm gonna ask you the question according to your knowledge as a Muslim from Indonesia which one Allah created first the stars or the tree brother Abu Salam do you think guys Abu Salam now is going to search Google Abu Salam feel free to search Google Abu Salam Abu Salam, I give you 10 years to find the answer, Abu Salam. And when you find the answer, you will leave Islam, Abu Salam. Are you there, Abu Salam? Did your God Allah created the trees or the stars first, Abu Salam? Hello? Abu Salam now is getting dizzy. Right. Let us see what this guy is saying. <clears throat> we have this uh, gentleman here saying, "Mag, a man, CP. The Muslims can be our friend. The Jews turn them against us. Respect the Muslims. Tell the world about the shit." in the Talmud magman you see you mentioned the word shit and I say that what you said is full of shit let me show you that you are literally a stupid ignorant person from the Quran you claim 
that the Jews they made the Muslims don't like us. Okay, that's mean Muhammad was a Jew, according to you. Chapter 5, verse 14, it says Allah will spread hate and enmity between the Christians. Is that made by the Jews, Abdul? Magman. Was that made by the Jews? This verse. Was it made by the Jews? Are you there? Hello, Magman. Say yes. Say this verse made by the Jews because you are the one who's saying that it is the Jews who made us uh, Muslims and Christians don't like each other. Okay, we go to different verse, same chapter, chapter five, verse number fifty-one. Let us see. Hmm. The Quran saying, "Oh, who you believe, take not the Jews and the Christians, your friends and protectors." Is this verse made by the Jews, Abdul? Maga man, was this verse made by the Jews? Muhammad, he killed the Jews. He slaughtered them. So how is stupid of you to say that it was the Jews who made us don't like each other? You are just a stupid donkey who have the culture. Let us blame the Jews. Huh? Let us blame the Jews. Anything happened, we blame the Jews. If you could not have sex with your wife, you blame the Jews. Is that what happened in reality? If you cannot buy a house, you blame the Jews. If you lose your job, you, you blame the Jews. If your wife, she burned the food, you blame the Jews. And actually, this is exactly what Muhammad did. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he said, if not the Jews, no food will decay. So Muhammad, he blamed the Jews for your food to be damaged. And you are doing exactly the same stupid thing. So are you there, Abdul? Or uh, Maga Man, uh, Potato? Did, did he, uh, Muhammad, say that, uh, let us blame the Jews? He blamed too for every evil in earth, women and the Jews. And the one who said don't take the Christians as a friends is the Quran, not the Jews. Somebody told you the Quran is written by Rabbi Muhammad? What happened to this guy? Yeah. The funny, I am an Arab. <coughs> Isn't it funny? I mean, I am an Arab and I'm teaching this idiot that it is not the Jews who is the problem. This is a kind of a, a funny comedy, is it? Me is the Arab, he is not. And I am the one saying to him, it is not the fault of the Jews. That's weird, isn't it? Like the stupid Bernie Sander, he said, uh, Israel is racist. Israel is racist, you idiot. Go and see Israel. In Israel, there's Arab who they are congressmen. They have Arab in the Supreme Court. They have Arab in the army. How they can be racist? Equal salary, equal health insurance, equal right, and they vote, and they elected, and they can be even president. Stupidity. And what make it more funny, the one who is saying this is an Arab, which is me. So Abu Salam, we will talk about the Bible, Abu Salam, but you are not calling me, Abu Salam. We want to hear your beautiful voice, brother. Don't you want to talk about the Bible? Guys, don't talk to Abu Salam. He want to talk only about the Bible. Okay, Abu Salam, why you don't call me so we can talk only about the Bible? Abu Salam, take my advice, never get married. Because obviously, your wife, she will never be proud about you. You are not man enough even to make a call. I think Abu Salam, if he have a problem with the phone company, he will ask his wife to call the phone company. He's shy. He's not Abu Salam, he is baby Salam. 
Why don't call me Abu Zalam? Call me baby. <laughs> okay, let your wife call me. Forget about you. You are not man enough to, to do it. Your wife, she have mustache, as Muhammad is said. Abu Salam, is it true, brother? Abu Salam, I want to ask you a question. Do your wife, may Allah bless her, take hair from her face, brother? Abu Salam, be honest with us. Be honest, be honest. People will go to your Facebook and they will see the picture of your wife. So don't lie. Do your wife take hair from her face? Either you say yes or no. Abu Zalam. I don't have a wife. Don't you see? I look very uh, uh, disgusting. Nobody want to marry me. What is wrong with you? If I have a wife, will be here. Now it is it is 12.20 a.m. in the morning. If I have a wife, she will be forcing me to wash dishes by now. What are you talking about, Abdul? I am like Allah. Okay, if Allah is gay, that's mean I am whatever you want. Okay, here we go. I mean, you are being, let, let me, let me block you. Here we go. You see, we gave you too much attention. We try to speak to you as a man, but you are just a kid. Get lost. Free shipping and handling to Allah. We have no time for stupidity. It's your God who said if a woman she take hair from her face, Allah will curse her. She will go to hell. What a stupid God. Why? The women she have to have a she have to have a bird a beard like a goat. What kind of God is God? Right? Uh, Yusuf Abdul, don't use a bad language, otherwise I will block you, Abdul. So do we have any Muslim want to talk to us or not? Okay, how many of you guys download my last two videos which I just made in uh, in minds? Anyone? How many of you did download? How you how the Arab the Christians refer to in Arabic to God? There is many words like Rabbi, uh, Ilahi, uh, Jehovah. Actually, if you wanna if you wanna use like a we have to use it as it is in the Bible. In the in in some Ar in Arabic translation, they use the word Allah, but this is stupid. This is false. It's just a translation. The same as in the Quran, they say Jesus. There's no there's no in the Quran. There's no Jesus. In the whole Quran, there's no Jesus. There's no Yeshua. There's no Yeshua. There is Isa. But in English, they say to you, Jesus. So any Arab translation for the Bible use the word Allah is a false translation. We have to go by the Bible. There's no Allah in the Bible. This is not our God. Right? Where I can find my videos, there's many people, they are downloading my videos. You can check their channels and subscribe. There's always videos. They download my videos right away and they repost. I have tons of thousands of videos. When you say my previous ones, as we are talking about, maybe you are talking about the early one today or last week. <clears throat> How many of you download my last two videos, guys? Did you download it? The link is down in my, like in the info. If you click at the info, minds.com. You will see two new videos. I just post them and they are not listed in YouTube yet. Okay, good. Uh, TM, that's good. Well, the uh, yeah, there is a, there is a stories, but you see the Quran contradict all the Muslim stories because. <clears throat> Maybe we should make a, uh, make a special video about this topic. Or a special program.
according to the Quran, that everybody, everybody is going to believe in Jesus before he died. All right. All right. So, how that will happen? Any Muslim can explain how everybody will believe in Jesus before he died. Do we have any Muslim? Here you will notice there is two mistakes. Read carefully with me. Chapter 4, verse 159. And there is none of the people of the scriptures, which mean the Jews and the Christians, but must believe in him. Who? Isa, Jesus, the son of Maryam. Hold on. Does it say guys must believe in him? Does it say in the front of your eyes, must believe in him? What do you mean believe in him? Do you Muslim believe in Muhammad or believe in Allah? Because when you say believe in him, that's mean you believe that he's God. You see, if I accept somebody as a messenger, I don't believe in him. I believe in his message. Is that correct? When Muhammad, he made an oath on the Torah, he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. So you can say, I believe in the book. You can say, I believe in God. But how you can say, I believe in Jesus unless Jesus is God? This is number one. Number two, not a single Christian or a Jew, but he will believe in him before he die. So what about the Jews who died already? Do you see the stupidity? Do you know what I mean? Not a single a Christian or a Jew. The Christian already believe in him, you idiot. What do you mean the Christian will believe in him too? This is why they are called the Christians. Stupid. Then, not a single Jew, he will believe in him. Okay, but there's millions of Jews, they die already. How they will believe in him before he die? Any Muhammadan? When when they will believe in him? And look at the translation here where it says before he died. It doesn't say that. Anyone see where it says that? No, it's gone. Actually, I'm showing you the verse, but it doesn't say that in English. Oh, here, here. Before his Isa, Jesus, or a Jew, or a Christian, before his death. I mean, look at that, the two brackets. So, before his death, we found it. <laughs> Stupidity. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? The screen is not showing. What do you mean the screen is not showing? No, it's showing. Refresh your uh, page. Refresh your page from your side. <clears throat> Again, guys, uh, this video is just actually to inform you about the two videos we made. So please don't forget to click at the link at minds.com. Watch the videos, download them, and repost them wherever you have, like uh, Facebook, etc. Repost. All right. So, are we good for today? I think it's time for me to go because my eyes really are hurting. I'm looking all day long at this computer and my eyes are burning. All right. I made videos before I come here, I paused them in minds. 
and now I am here with you and I was answering people and it's endless it is literally endless and you know the the funny people they send me emails like in patreon etc and they are saying did you see my email or I, why I don't answer I mean they, they think I'm just there's one guy you know, there's just him and me and we are emailing each other you know they don't know I have endless it is literally endless one guy the Muslim they think I have like a secretary and I have assistance and they have army yeah they are right <laughs> I don't have a person to bring me some tea actually or our water when I am thirsty <coughs> anyway guys I want to say thank you for being here don't forget uh, please uh, to uh, to uh, download the videos we mentioned the, the link is down in minds.com it's in the info of the video don't forget please to download and share and and I will see you again I don't know if tomorrow I will do video or not live maybe not because it's Friday now already we are Friday and Friday usually people they get out or they stay with their family I mean when they go to the mall do shopping whatever so we will see you know we will see subscribe and tell your friends about what we do share the links and thank you very much for being here Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye